Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be watching Red, White and Royal Blue. Finally, I'm so glad that I can finally say that guys. I've been waiting for so long. Um, well, so long. I've been waiting. I read the books in February. I read it in like two days. Um, as you can see, I've got three copies behind me. I've also got the audio book that I've been listening to pretty much on repeat since I got it. Um, at least every once every two weeks at least. Um, I love it. I really do. I just literally put it on whenever I'm like cleaning or doing anything. Um, yeah, I love it guys. I love the story. Um, I think it's a beautiful story. Um, I'm excited to see it brought to life. I know there's going to be a few like changes and stuff. I'm not expecting to go into this film criticising every little thing that they've changed. Obviously for me the biggest one is June so far that I know of. Um, which is quite sad because I do love her as a character in the book. But again, you know, we'll see how they've managed to do the film without her. Um, I'm not going to judge it too harshly. I'm going to enjoy it for what it is anyway because how often do we get a queer rom-com? I don't think we ever have and if we have I've not heard about it or watched it or whatever. So I'm very excited to see these two wonderful actors on screen. I've watched their GQ interview. Love it. Love them together. <laughs> um, Taylor and Nick already I think have great chemistry from the trailer from the GQ interview I think it shines through and I think some people are clearly blind to chemistry when they see it because I've seen people criticize it already um, and that was when we only had like three clips available people were like on TikTok like there's no chemistry blah 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 like they don't even they look awkward around each other it was about it's in the clip where they're being interviewed to put up the like public relations ruse um if that's what we call it um and you know they don't look comfortable because they're not meant to because they hate each other at that point still well hate i've seen nicholas galatine in purple hearts um, i know he's done other projects like other tv shows and films and stuff but i've not seen him in anything else as of yet um, I was thinking of doing a reaction to Cinderella that is in just for like the bants, you know, um, but we'll see. And Taylor, obviously I've seen the kissing booth. I've seen them all. Um, I've, I know he's in two and three. Uh, personally, Marco is my favourite character and he always has been since I've watched the second and third ones. Um, also, if I look like shit, I apologise. It is currently 9am, like on the dot. Um, and yeah, anyway, enough rambling. I've waited enough. We've all waited long enough for this, right? We've waited long enough. And now we're gonna watch <laughs> Red, White and Royal Blue. And I can't wait. So yeah, let's go. Nudity, alcohol use, smoking, foul language and sexual content. Where the future King of England, Prince Philip, Duke of Cambridge, married his childhood oh, sweetheart, Lady Martha Fitzroy. Oh, hi, and Nicholas! The prince's younger brother. Hi, Prince Henry. Guys, I'm sorry for who I'm about to become. <laughs> including Alex Claremont Diaz, the charismatic Guys. son of the American Guys, president. Guys, you're not ready for me. How about we skip the party tonight and go do touristy things instead? No. Let's Are you crazy? Not... I want to see Buckingham Palace, don't you? Okay, you've been yucking my yum all day. What's going on? What the fuck is yucking your yum mean? It's, it's the whole Prince Henry comparison thing. Yeah, I can see how that would get annoying. Taylor looks so good. <laughs> I feel like if I use the wrong fork at dinner, they're just gonna eat me alive. So they are. So they're already married now, I guess. And this is the after party. You're handsome and charming, and everyone loves you. Indeed. It happens at me because of this wedding. Oh, shut up, Henry, and get into the spirit of the thing. Oh, Henry. <laughs> oh, hello. 
Oh, shut up, Henry. <laughs> Yeah, that's oh, fucking God, absurd. To down to get it that's obscene. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're not gonna want to hear this, but that Prince uh. Henry is so yummy. Nora, they both no. are, to be She's honest. I don't know, man. If I was gonna go for a rich white boy, that is the rich white boy I'd go for. But he's the worst yeah. kind of rich white boy. Not gonna so lie. Same. Entitled. He's a prince, Alex. He's literally entitled. Oh, you know what is obscene? Mm. Is how attractive the president's son is. Yes! Yes, a few times. He's very sexy. Animated. He's the world's attractive. Person. He's the world's most irritating person. Also, I swear that he's not six too. <laughs> nice to meet you as well. Oh, so much about you. You're sticking with me tonight. Oh, Nora and B. How's it going? <laughs> right. Righty-o! Oh, we're getting drunk as fuck. Henry! Oh! <laughs> What's up? Long time no Please. Sleep. Okay. Alex? Killer wedding, man. Glad you're enjoying yourself. Oh, yeah. Who doesn't love a little Mozart? Actually, it's Schubert. Oh, you got Schubert. How many families he could feed? Oh my god, he's place. already knocking the cake. Tell me something, Your Majesty. Uh, magnificent day. Yes, Alex. If you say so, Alex. Great to see you. you Actually, you're tall. Actually, it's Your Royal Highness, Your Majesty is reserved for the king. Oh, thank you for the etiquette lesson. You are desperately in need of one. You know what? Oh. Uh. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. Well, that's not helping! What? Oh my fucking Christ. Oh! Oh no! What is happening? I want to see how this all plays it. Oh, great. Right. Here we go. Jesus Christ, I'd shit myself. <laughs> I'd fucking shit Henry. myself, guys. Henry! Fuck off. Bloody Philip. A reputation. This new generation. Oh, guys! I'm kind of here for the same chat. Oh, guys, you're not ready for me when the polo match thing happens. Holy shit. These stupid things in your day, yeah, but this. Yeah, yeah. Takes the cake? Oh, you hear that, Zara? He's opening with a joke. I sent you to London with some pretty simple instructions. Represent the family at the royal wedding and don't cause an international incident. Henry <laughs> shoved me. An urge I currently share with the prince. <laughs> we have spent the last three years negotiating a new trade deal with His Majesty's government. And next week, no one will be talking about this anymore. And really, no reasonable person is going to even pay attention to the that article, okay? <clears throat> Everyone's paying attention to this juvenile stunt. And it certainly casts a pall over our negotiations. I'm on the ballot again in 14 Juvenile months, stunts. And I need the farming exports and the manufacturing jobs that this deal provides to take to Midwest voters. I'd argue that you don't actually need the Midwest, and there's a path to re-election without the you don't want to hear from me today. What I need from you, sunshine of my heart, is some good <laughs> old-fashioned damage control. Our oh, tail is so pretty, guys. I'm really sorry, Mom. I know you are, baby. That's why I need you to fix it. Ah, Zora! What are you Fucking doing? hell, all right. You're flying back to London tonight. What? Why? To undo yes. all the damage you've done? Hell yes! And the palace are going to release a joint statement explaining that what happened at the wedding was a complete misunderstanding. Yeah, which it was. And despite rarely having time to see one another. What does she call it in the book? Homoerotic frat boy mishap. This is a fact sheet on Prince Henry. Memorize it. Fact sheet. He's not Let's six go. foot two. <laughs> fact sheet on me? Yes. And I can assure you that making it was one of the most depressing moments of my career. Wow. You uh, are oh. going there to work. No hookups, no partying. You can hate Prince Henry all you want, but the minute you see a camera, you better act like the sun shines out of his ass and you have a vitamin D deficiency. Nope. And there is no getting out of this. Oh, yeah? 
What if I set myself on fire? We'd ship the ashes <laughs> to Heathrow. Oh, dear. Mr. Claremont Diaz, welcome to Kensington Palace. Sean Srivastava, Prince Henry's Aquary. I'm His Royal Highness's personal attendant. So you're the butler? Mm -hmm. I'm not the butler, I'm the Aquary. And back we go to my original question. What is an Aquary? Me. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Cut! All right, slow down a little bit, babes. Imagine if you just ran him over. <laughs> Alex. <laughs> it's good to see you. Hi. Sober? You must stand to the right of His Royal Highness. Is that protocol or just his good side? Both. Should we do this? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. They're all yours, Jamie. Both their sides are hot, though. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> My NDA is bigger than yours. I want you to know that. You're wearing lifts. You know that too, sweetheart. Too sweetheart. <laughs> are we finished here? <laughs> yes, Your Royal Highness. Oh, my God. Dick. Closer together. Yeah, scooch, come on, scoochy. A bit more. Fucking hell. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> yep. Wonderful. <laughs> so, Alex, what do you think of jolly old England? I hate that. I, I really love it here. Jolly I've old England. My mom was a Alex has very strong opinions, and, and he shares them loudly. Yeah. What three words would I use to describe Henry? White, blonde, and British. One thing I most admire about Alex is his willingness to admit when he's wrong. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful trait to have. I love Ooh, hanging out with this guy. This guy. Queen of Queen Victoria, right. they were having two fights all the time. Vicky. <laughs> Vicky. Classic. <laughs> Waterloo. Waterloo. Couldn't escape if I wanted to. Oh. Yeah. Oh my, okay. This is not. Guys, this is not how we expected this bit to go. Santel 33. Yeah. Makes sense. What do you mean by that? It means you got good taste, Alex. Thanks. And why do you dislike me? Wait, what? Good taste in what? You turned to your equerry and said, get me out of here. I didn't realize you'd heard that. So you do admit that's a douchey thing to say. Mm. I could have been nicer. It is, isn't it? Don't minimize it. <laughs> I, I, no. I possibly. It's already as minimal as it gets. <laughs> are, you, are you seriously telling me that one meeting <laughs> years ago in which, yes, I admittedly acted ungenerously towards you, has occupied such a vast mental and emotional space Ooh. in your head. Sure, when you put it like that. But it was my first foray into the world as a public figure, and I was really scared, and you could have helped me, and you didn't. You're right. It's no excuse, but I was a prick to everyone in those days. Mm -hmm. My father had died a few months before, and the palace insisted on parading me around. Yeah. My guy record. wanted to be alone. I, I didn't say get me out of here. I said I need to get out of here, which is a different thing entirely. Yeah. Oh. Poor baby. Well, now I feel like I need to apologize. Threat neutralized. Some kid brought fireworks for his friend. Who the fuck brings fireworks to a hospital, by the way? How crazy do they think we are in the UK? I mean, yeah. People shoot fireworks at cars here. So, do you know what? I'm not even going to question it. Fair, fair enough. No. You're expected at my New Year's party. No, I Guys, we're getting through this wow. very fast. Those people would kill to get invited to my party. That's perfect. You can kill me and I won't have to go. How is he so fucking hot? 
Listen, if you want, Your Majesty. That was quite cute. That was cute. Hey, Dad. Hey, also, is this know, another difference in the film? Flight home. Oh. <laughs> What's your beef with him, anyway? Guys, he's so pretty. <laughs> He's and he's so nice. And privileged and lives in a palace. <laughs> and your mom is the epitome of authority. Oh, everyone's just Alex. looking at him. To be fair, I'd look at him. Hey, Miguel. What's up? ACD slumming it in shock. Miguel. <laughs> Got a minute? Do I know yeah. Miguel? I can hang. I can't recall Mr. Miguel in the this book. Weekend. I had no idea you and the prince were such good friends. Yeah, well... Neither did I have to like use it. Not a chance, Miguel. Oh, such a tease. Mm. How about yes. sources close to the president? I'm gonna pass. Ugh. Hello. Hi. Are you single? Uh -huh. Ask well, I start on a good old. Yeah, you're always thing. running at full speed. Just look at this, it's an encantador. Do I need subtitles? Henry! What's up? Nice. Why is this? Hey, Jerry, it's Prince Dickhead Poop emoji. It's Alex Claremont Diaz gonna be a father. We <laughs> <laughs> have against colour anyway. Praise the colour, thank you. <laughs> I love how they've gotten to do the voiceovers. <gasps> Cornbread! Cornbread knows my students, Henry. You can't take care of it. Why are you awake? Because Ooh. some bellin decided to call me at 3 a.m. This is cool. Guys, I wish I had Jaffa cakes. Look it up. I'm also they, a world Asta didn't class have any. insomniac. I'm in bed Same. with my dog watching Bake Off. You don't seem like the kind of person that would name their dog David. Well, he's named after Bowie. Wait, seriously? Hmm. That's way cooler. Have I surprised you in any way? Nope. No. <laughs> you are just as ghastly as I imagined. I'm hanging up now. No, I'm hanging up on you. Fine. Have it your way. Has anyone in the campaign actually read my Texas strategy memo? What Texas strategy memo? I wrote a 14-page memo detailing how we can win in Texas next year. Did anyone ask you to write this memo? Oh, I took the initiative. Zara, there are good ideas in here. I really want to help. He's very, like, politician headed, isn't he? I mean, that's the point, isn't it? Very political. Could never be me. <laughs> right. Help your mother's campaign, make sure Prince Henry comes to your party. People like him more than Let's they like go. you. Well, they wouldn't if they knew him. You love... Nora, love the outfit. Oh, look who it is. Nice time. Hey! the orange. Orange? Must be colorblind. This is obviously copper. You are so Copper. annoying. Miss uh -huh. Honor, you are the most exquisite woman I've ever seen in my life. She's I very pretty. I for you the most lavish drink in this establishment. I haven't drunk since Christmas. You gotta catch up. You've been drunk since Christmas. Since it's New Year's. Oh, hey. No, get off. Bitch, please get away from me. Oh my god, does he make out with this bitch? There's no way. Oh, he's not gonna kiss Nora if Pez is with her, is he? Oh, guys, I'm stressed. I know he, he's gonna end up kissing her. Like, she's gonna end up kissing him. I'm not in the mood. Ooh, come on, lighting. Right. <laughs> he's so stiff. <laughs> Not in that way. Maybe. <laughs> till the sweat drips down my balls. <laughs> Did you say till the sweat drops down my balls? Yes. Oh, this bitch is gonna kiss him, is it? What? This is cute. That's Henry falling in love, guys. Who's he gonna kiss? Oh. 
Awesome. Oh, everyone, okay. Wow. Right, and he's puny. <gasps> Did I do something wrong? No, not exactly. I ever wonder who you'd be if you were an anonymous person in the world? Uh, I, I was am. an anonymous <laughs> working class. Who would you be? I'd be a writer. Be a writer. Bless you. Live in Paris. Oh, Paris. But a lot of Paris content the last more. few days. Yeah, because it's so hard for a prince to get a date. People I date don't interest me, and the people who glowing? interest me, I can't date. Oh my god, Henry, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> you're as thick as it gets. <gasps> oh. Okay. I live. Guys, I live. <laughs> we need more queer rom coms, guys. Got a minute? Funny thing happened on New Year's Eve. Henry kind of. Jumping straight in. Kissed me? Okay. I totally privately called that. Oh, shut up, Nora. You did not. Hey, it's my job to analyze data, and he has never once checked me out, and. I am what some men would consider exquisite. So from where I'm yeah, sitting, Henry, to be fair, kind of gay. More like the first fifty rows of a Gaga concert, kind of gay. Tell me more about this kiss. Did you like it? He grabbed my hair in a way that made me understand the difference between rugby and football. <laughs> oh, I'm take that as a yes. And it wasn't unpleasant. Just. Surprising. I mean, you've been wanting him to dick you down forever. What? Wrong. <laughs> no, no, yeah. no, no, no. Yeah, you have. First, you've been like completely obsessed with Henry for years. I've... You spent the entire Months. New Year's party straight up ignoring the who's who of hot young women in order to talk to Henry. And uh, he kissed you. And you liked, and you liked it. it. So, objectively, what, what do you think that means? Yeah. I don't know. He can't ignore me all night. Can he? If he wants to. <laughs> he can do what he wants to. He's a prince. <laughs> Guys, Taylor's. Oh, he's beautiful. Look at him. His eyes, man. Oh. Alex. I'm what was this guy's name again? Old. Miguel? Miguel. 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 <laughs> I read your Texas campaign memo. How? Oh, right. It was super confidential. I'm a journalist, Alex. I quite literally have my sources. Anyway, I, I think you've got some good ideas. I think he could be the reason. Thanks, Miguel. I think they've changed the um the campaign putting your memo into action. The scripts, maybe. He's not listening to anything year, you're saying. Finally flip Texas. Oh, I can't wait for this, guys. I'm excited. <laughs> oh, he's he's beautiful. I don't blame either of them, to be honest, because honestly, I'd be like... I know. I owe you an explanation. My behavior was appalling. Shut up. Stop talking. Oh my god! All right, fellas. Time's up. We gotta get back to... Oh god. <laughs> Wait, I didn't... <laughs> I didn't expect Amy to, like, barge in and stage. Your royal hardness? Stonehenge! Or Big Ben. Big Ben. It's hard. The room on the second floor of the residence. Look how excited Henry is. Bad things to you. Oh. Too mm. late. 
Oh! Guys, we're really on it. Like, straight away. Oh. Luckily, this changes nothing between us. I was about to say the same thing. Hey, you went. It's impossible. Oh my gosh. Sis. Calm down. Guys. When did you start to fancy you? Oh. oh climate conference. Last night party. Wow. You had a lot going on that night. Hey, tell me about it. I really thought you hated me. <laughs> I hated how good you looked. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I guess you could say I'm. bisexual. Same. Baby, bye, bye, bye. Uh, just to put it out there, <laughs> I gay. Um, gay. as gay as a maple. I'm gay. I'm really gay. I'm super duper gay. Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea what a maple, maple. is. <laughs> right. Are they known for their homosexual tendencies? Oh, oh God, <laughs> yes. Notorious. Notorious for <laughs> Oh, guys, they're both so fucking... <sighs> I'm obsessed with I wouldn't with mind them. doing this again. I wouldn't mind if you did it again either. One can dream. Um, me neither. The handhold. The ring. We just yeah. have to keep it very... Casual. I just can't afford for you to fall in love with me. For now. Okay. Oh, wait a oh. No, that's oh. not what I meant. Oh, when I said... yourself, your majesty. It's your royal highness. I don't know how many times I have to tell you that. There's this charity polo match in Windsor okay. next month that my mate Percy's foundation organizes. Um... Do you want to come again? I was wondering if you might want to <laughs> be my guest. Come. Oh. He um... should have said come though. <laughs> I don't know how to play polo. No, you watch it. Damn. Okay, I suppose that will be alright, seeing as you won't be playing. Yeah. I will. You'll be watching on the sidelines. Yeah. Great. That's probably safer for everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Are you gonna walk over there? Guys, he's beautiful. Where was the reciprocation? Oh, please. Oh, he's hot, man. Oh, we're we getting a montage. My God. Right. Oh. Yeah, I Bro, eat. I just ate. No, you've just ate. We're Can back I in Paris. Know. There's something I've been dying to ask you. After Which heart of the stuff. famous boys about Shagged? There's two things I've been dying to ask you. <laughs> Shagged. Do you have a last name? Actually, I have several. Mm -hmm. The official family name is Hanover Stewart. Oh. My father's surname was Fox, so my full name is Henry George Edward James Hanover Stewart Fox. And I so they've changed it from Mike Christian Windsor. Diaz was a mouthful. He is. <laughs> I was four years old when I realized that everyone in my country knew my name, but I would never know theirs. Bless him. Prince Henry belongs to Britain. Henry Fox has to belong to himself, or else he'll vanish. Can he ever belong to someone else? Only momentarily. Oh, guys, I can feel myself tearing up already. I'm an, I'm an emotional wreck already. Guys, they're so fucking cute. I can't. Look at them. Look at them. I 
think we should make love tonight. Oh. <laughs> I'm, oh. I'm That was a yeah. bit. I, the boy, wasn't it? I'm, I'm down. Make. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, who says make love anymore? We're gonna like listen to Lana Del Rey when we do <laughs> it? All right, all right. <laughs> to be fair, I'm with it's Alex. Just... <laughs> Who's gonna do what? Okay. Who's going to talk? Who's going to what? I've never... <sighs> Let me put it simply for you. I went to an English boarding school, dear. Trust me, you're in good hands. Mmm. I bet I am. I bet. Guys, future Hannah here. Thought I'd just pop in and give you an update as I'm having to re-edit this whole YouTube video from scratch because YouTube keep blocking my video and I've lost some files so I'm having to re-edit it all um, which sucks but what you're about to see me watch is one of the most beautiful scenes I've ever seen and I didn't comment on it too much I think because I was a bit flustered and just overwhelmed by how like soft and slow and just beautiful this scene is genuinely beautiful like well done nick and taylor because my god stunning i've never seen like sex look like that on screen before and it was just so beautifully done so well done this is very like intimate obviously <laughs> Guys, it's... Oh, I love them. Oh. I love them. Okay. Oh. Hold up. I wasn't expecting we'd see it like this. I feel like I'm gonna blush. I need to <laughs> cover my eyes. It's very romantic though, low key. They're in Paris. City of love. I can't believe how long it was about you. Most people are. Cute. Oh my god! Oh! I don't know if I'll be able to show this on YouTube. Oh my god, please, not this. <laughs> I live. Uh, I fucking live for this. We're only an hour in! Holy shit! It's gonna be a tough campaign. You really do. Guys, this is so attractive. Yeah, I really do. To know that what you do has a meaningful impact on people's lives. Oh. I know it's my life's work. Bless him. He really does care, doesn't he? My father was 12 when my brother brought him and his sister over from Mexico. You may not understand this, but in America, if you're an immigrant with a Z in your last name, there's not a lot of people in positions of power that look like you or sound like you. He wants to be that for other people, I think. I've been given I a guess. chance to be someone in the world that my father didn't see when he was growing up. Yeah, there we go. That's sweet. You can't know what that means. <gasps> oh, stop! I'm gonna cry. I'm learning. They're so fucking cute. I can't stand it. <laughs> to flip Texas. What? No. 16 tweets today, all linking to his new article. Oh, Miguel needs to really fuck off. Too much. 
All I said to Miguel is that Texas is competitive and we intend to win it. I didn't think he'd write an article well, about it. Well, he has. So now we have to explain to everyone that we don't, in fact, have a new Texas strategy. You do have a Texas strategy. You just won't implement it. Not Texas. You're being idealistic when I need you to be realistic. Is that why you got into politics? To be realistic? Do you think mm -hmm. that's what the people really need right now? I do not need a lecture from you about idealism. I was 28 when I was elected to the state legislature. I had 150,000 constituents. Now I have 330 million. You are no longer allowed to speak to the press. Do you understand me? Mm -hmm. Yes, Madam President. Oh, that's cold. No, Mum, just Madam President. We're sending you a text. Thanks, Mother. Really? You work 18 hour days. 18 hour days! <sighs> Fucking hell. Dear Henry. Greetings. 18 from hour the days, lads. Star State. Hard to put into words how exciting it is to be back here working to get my mom reelected. The only thing that would make it even better is if you were here. Dear Henry. Oh, I can't stop. think of a single way to start this email except to say you're incredible. But should I also tell you that when we're apart, your body comes back to me in my dreams? I can feel your skin against mine and it makes every bone in my body ache. Henry, seriously. I'm out here giving my all for my mother. Wait. Are you just gonna throw that email in there? Guys, that's one of my favorite emails. So, from all the photos you're posting, it really makes me want to visit. Yes, I was just thinking that I want you to come and see it one day. Oh, there's so much that I want They're to see. They're so cute. I, think I really like Austin most, especially. I want to see your mouth covered in barbecue sauce. And then and some it off. Oh. I'll be damned. He's Alex. adorable. I miss you. I miss you. Oh, go away. Here we go. Looked really good up there. Thanks. You know, we're both staying at this hotel tonight. Yeah, I'm what? Tell me something. Do you honestly believe that we're ever hooking up again? Well, I don't anymore. Is that mm. you're an asshole? Feel free to use that quote. Buenas noches, cabrón. Uh, what are you doing here? Out of skull, Duggery. Let me help you plan it. We need to get up to my room right now. He knows. He's gonna call shit! I know it! Don't even piss me off! Ooh. Ooh. You ever been on Grindr? Okay. <laughs> Once on Grindr. Mm. Do you vote? Mm -mm. No. no. What? Yeah. That's insane. Controversial. Guys, the looks! Never had your heart broken, did you just say? The day my dad died. Oh, we're not doing this. I don't want to cry right now. Come on. Let's get your mother reelected. Oh, shit. That's coming in. <gasps> hey, do you mind? Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> right, I'm going to have to blur this. Nice. You know what? Good morning. <laughs> We've just left the loo boat. <laughs> I'm sorry to interrupt your process of becoming, but you're the one who decided to put your dick into the air to the British throne. Well, technically, I'm the spare. Not talking to you, sir. <laughs> Would it make any difference if I told you not to see him again? No. Every time I see you, it takes another year off of my life. All right. <laughs> and as for you, little Lord Fuckleroy, you get your ass in right now. I want you chewing on a goddamn crumpet by sunset, and if anyone sees you leave this hotel, I will Brexit your head from your body. You got me? Not the crumpet. Guys, we're not even that obsessed with them. Can I have so pizza, are please? You, are you gay, bi, fluid, bam, quick? <laughs> what mom and bi? Oh, all right. Uh, well, you know the B in LGBTQ is not a silent letter. Yes, thank you, mom. Preach! Fucking preach it. 
You need to figure out if you feel forever about him before you take this any further. One more thing. Uh, we didn't go over this particular type of partnering when we had the talk, which is on me for making assumptions. Oh, oh no. I just want to make sure you know Protection. you need to wear a condom if you're having anal intercourse. Oh my god. <laughs> And we can we can talk about getting you on Truvada and and um, if you're bottoming then you need the HPV vaccine. Right. Let's. I can have HHS send over some. I think he knows. You are ridiculous, Dad. What is this music? It's so not the vibe. It's great to see you again, sir. Put some little nails on. Please call me Congress. Oh well, in that case, you can call me Royal Highness. <laughs> Who's ready to fight? Oh. oh. All right. I see you. One last stop! Okay! Oh, he's wearing Alex's hat! Wait till he finds out about the karaoke machine. Uh, no, no, I am definitely not doing karaoke. I'm burning through the sky, yeah. 200 degrees, what I'm telling Mr. Fahrenheit. Bro, we know you can sing. <laughs> Good time, I'm having a ball. Is this him falling in love? I think so, right? Or realizing that the forever thing. Definitely. He's so fucking cute. He's tougher than he looks. <laughs> so you like him? What's not to like? Cute. I wasn't sure if you needed to have like a Catholic moment about it. Or... Please. Have a little more faith in your old man. You are, after all, talking to the patron saint of gender-neutral bathrooms in Austin, you little shit. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta jump. Hope you're not standing on the cliff. Thanks, Dad! <laughs> oh! The swimming coming through! I know Taylor used to swim. I know. That was nice. Oh my god, you Come on. That's a cretin. They're adorable. Oh my god. I'm obsessed. I'm hitting. You can't do that. I can take you around to all the places I grew up. You can get to understand my life a little more. Guys, it's gonna break my heart. I never felt this way about anyone. Am I gonna cry? Probably. It's like there's a rope attached to my chest and it keeps pulling me towards you. Um. I feel so right. Henry. I Guys, this is too... I don't know if my heart can handle this. Please! Oh, I don't want it to be like... Guys, I knew we did that. But... We're not gonna cry, come on. It's all so silly, isn't it? The idea of royalty in the 21st century, it's, it's so antiquated. I wonder if what we do has any meaningful impact on people's lives. Do you love him? What difference would it make if I did? All the difference in the world, babe. Guys, I'm not ready for the scene. I think we all know what scene it is. Well, you have air miles. Use them. Go to London. Get your man. Use them, sis. Come on. Right. Oh my god, my god, Let me say what you need to say and then I... I think you at least owe me this an explanation. I have done nothing but explain myself to you this past year. I don't know what more you want me to say. I'm and I don't cry. appreciate you barging in here in the middle of the night. Oh, I'm sorry I can't turn my feelings off as easily as you. Do you honestly think this is easy for me? What else am I supposed to think? You won't talk to me. All I know is I'm the one here willing to fight for us. Because it costs you nothing! 
I have been losing my mind this week. Kind of too. Because the man I love has vanished from my life without an explanation. I flew across an ocean. I, I stormed a fucking castle to look you in the eye and tell you that I love you knowing that you wouldn't say it back. So no, Henry. In fact, this is costing me everything. And if this is over, I at least deserve to know why. Oh, for Christ's sake, Alex, for once, I wish you could see me for who I am and not who you want me to be. Sometimes, I don't think you know me at all. I'm not like you. I can't afford to be reckless. Oh. I wasn't raised by a loving, supportive family like you were. I have centuries of history bearing down on my shoulders. My life is the crown and yours is politics and I will not trade one prison for another. I can love you and want you and, and still not want that life. And it doesn't make me a liar. It makes me a man with some infinitesimal shred of self-preservation and you don't get to come in here and call me a coward for it. <sighs> you didn't. We never call you a coward. We can figure out a way to love each other on our own terms, no one else's. That is simply not possible and you know it. <sighs> Fine. I'll leave. And you can live in your tower and protect your heart for the rest of your life, and nothing will ever happen to you. But Henry, nothing will ever happen to you. So if you want me to go, you have to tell me to leave. Please, don't make me. It is the only way you're getting rid of me. Because I would never leave this room if I didn't think there was any hope of holding on to the happiness that I have found with you. And if you think otherwise, then you don't know me. So tell me to go, Henry. And I promise I will walk out that door and trouble you no longer. Wait. We can't do that. I want you to see. Guys, that scene. Oh! Ooh. Guys, I'm not okay. When I was younger, I would dream of taking somebody I loved here. No. And he'd love it as much as I did. We dance right here amidst all these statues. Let's do it then. Just a daft pubescent fantasy. It's not daft. Let's dance. Can't help folks. You bastards. <laughs> I will try and be brave for us. Because when they write the history of my life, I want it to include you <laughs> and my love for you. Oh. 
history, huh? Bet we could make some. Make some. <laughs> I love them. Guys, this is so cute. He's gonna give him his ring. Yes! I, I want can you to see have some it. part of me. And then he's gonna give Until you can have all of me again. Oh my god, I'm in love with them. <sighs> I love you. I'll be as patient <laughs> as you need. Go in an election. What? Oh no. What's going the on? The emails. Where is it, Grandpa? What? No emails to Alex have been hacked. He'll post it overnight to Reddit. Oh my god. Mira and the sun it's actually tissue morning. stuck to my eye. And now security <laughs> photos of the two of you at the VNA have been popping up. How many of our emails? All of them. All of them. Fuck me. I'm so sorry, Henry. Orders from the palace, sir. No, I give the orders in this palace! These orders are from Buckingham Palace, sir. It is believed that this is the work of certain rogue elements within the media. It's going to be fucking... What's his name? I forgot his name. As details emerge about Alex Claremont Diaz's relationship with the prince... The Guys, if this actually happened in real life, it would be, it would be crazy. ...for the president in her re-election bid. Polls have her in a dead heat with Governor Richards. Now we have Miguel Ramos of Politico, who was the Miguel. first American journalist to break... He's the one. ...and who has written extensively about it in the... Yeah, because he was the one to probably I'm fucking leak them. Why is this anyone's business? After all, Alex Claremont Diaz is a private citizen. He isn't exactly. at all a private citizen. He's playing an active role in his mother's campaign. Well, don't public figures have a right to privacy? They do. Yeah. But these emails clearly show a pattern of obfuscation around this relationship. Bro. It's my job to examine and contextualize. You're just jealous. I'm curious, Miguel. And your first article was posted at 2.30 a.m. Monday morning. How did you have time to read nearly 72 emails, write an article, and publish it all within two and a half hours? I'm not sure where you're getting at. He's the dickhead that did it, that's fucking why. Because he's the one who fucking did it, I'm telling you. Or he paid someone to do it. Good morning. Henry and I have been together since the beginning of this year. And while neither of us is naive about what it means to be public figures, we never imagined our most private and intimate thoughts, fears, and truths would become fodder for public examination. Guys. Bless Henry, man, I swear. What was taken from us this week was our right to determine for ourselves how and when we should share our relationship and queer identities with the world. Bro. The truth is, every queer person has the right to come out on their own terms and on their yeah. own timeline. They also have the right to choose Tea. not to come out at all. This isn't about shame. This is about privacy and the fundamental right of self-determination which are exactly the principles on which the struggle for queer I'm liberation sad. has always been fought. But there is another truth that's much simpler. I fell in love with a person who happens to be a man, and that man happens to be a prince. He has captured my heart and made my life immeasurably better. I love His Royal Highness, Prince Henry George, Edward James, Hanover Stuart Fox. <laughs> I've got the first son in my office moving over the prince like a cow in labor, and I'm not going to get uh -huh. any work done Please. until you put these two homosexuals on the phone with one another. <laughs> I don't care what any of those wrinkled white men at Buckingham Palace have to say about it. I want you Please. to march your skinny, perfect ass over to the prince, hand him your okay. phone, or so help me God, you will never see me naked again. Wait, what? I thought you might see my way. Yes, we'll hold. I love the baby. Oh my god, are, are you all right? I'm hanging there. Are you okay? What about you? No. No, I'm not okay. You know what? I'm coming to London tonight. Just hold on until I get there. 
It feels like everyone hates me. Yeah, they still love you. They no one hates you. you. And now they are faced with the reality. What? That you're gay? Oh, boo-hoo. There's nothing wrong with being gay, guys. I know it's different because he's a royal, but like, your it shouldn't be different. Oh, I did watch it. I'm very proud to be your boyfriend. I'm oh! very proud to be your boyfriend. Wishes to see you. Oh, Both of you. now this is happening now. <laughs> He's twisting it for him. Yeah, <laughs> That's like that. cute. Sign of the Maldives. Tempting. Maldives. I Maldives. I for myself. Might as well start at the top. The yeah. less you say, Fuck the better it. it'll be for you. Oh, shut oh, up! You absolute Philip. Child. Yes, but you continue to make a mockery of yourself and in turn. You do, you fucking donkey. Shut up. I have directed Palace Communications to issue a firm denial of these accusations. Absolutely no. not. Accusations, they're the truth. It's a truth from which I am determined to protect you. I want your no. protection. I want your support. And I deserve yeah. to be happy. And Absolutely. No suggesting that you don't deserve to be happy. I'm... But to throw you away are. your future because of one mad infatuation. <clears throat> mad infatuation. Someone punch him. Someone punch this Have you bitch. Read our emails, Philip? God no. Well, if you had, you would realize that this is more than just a mad infatuation. Mm-hmm. Alex and I love each I'm other. In love. Yeah. Deeply. Fuck you. I this isn't have just some silly emails, thing. Henry? All of them. Well, <laughs> that is, um, your love is genuine. Interesting. Occasionally vulgar, but genuine. However, um, some of the context, I guess. Is not to your heart, but to your country. And anything other than maintaining the traditional royal image uh. is out of the question. Why is it out of the question? Mr. Claremont Diaz, let me disabuse you of the idea that your contribution to this conversation is in any way welcome. You are Shut party to this problem, up. not to its solution. Because, because the nation simply will not accept a prince who is... Gay. Homosexual. You can say... Sexual. <laughs> Just say gay. It's not going to burn you alive. Well, how many people? I will no longer be the prince of shame and of secrets. Yeah. Me and Alex Starting are together. Today, the world will know me for who I am. Not gay. Who you want me to be. And fabulous. Hell yeah! Come on. You can't go out there. Uh, oh yes, we can. Go out there. Henry, are you sure this is what you want? There Absolutely. Is no back Look at the crowd! I certainly hope not. I love you. Ah. I think that's up for debate. Kissy. Cute. Yeah. Who the next Come on, Texas. The United States will be. Come through. With 265 electoral votes, Governor Richards has swept Pennsylvania, Ohio, Minnesota, Let's Wisconsin, my dad. and his home state of breathe Michigan. Breathe, Alex. I'll breathe and we win. Claremont. It's all going to come down to Texas. Remind me how this works again. With the blue team, right? What do they yeah. teach at that fancy private okay. school? You just say the word. I'll get you enrolled in. I love that tie. Texas. I love that tie. President Holmes, easy to do the math here. Whoever wins Texas is going to win the White House. You still haven't noticed my tie. <laughs> Guys, no. I noticed it. I read it. I noticed thing it. In Texas, I thought it might bring you some luck. Oh, my God. I'm so grateful you're here. 
Oh, guys, I love them. I mean, I knew that. <laughs> oh. Tell that to the transgender high school student in Mississippi, voting for the very first time. Elections do matter because they give you a voice. And Yay! Voice He's still on the, the ring of of Americans just like you. <laughs> Open heart, fearless, and alive. Why did I call it like Louis Walsh? Brighter. Braver future. <laughs> Put my key on you. Yeah! We're going to the the Texas house. After you. Do you think anyone oh. noticed? <laughs> oh my fucking Christ. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I think that was um that thing at the end, Kirsty is Kirsty, I believe, is Taylor's sister that unfortunately passed away recently. Like the events so so different kind of to the book, which I did expect anyway, so I still kind of enjoyed it. Well I still did enjoy it. Um but like yeah, I swear to God. I don't even know if I spoke that much during this film. Um and I'm, I'm I'm sorry for that. I'm gonna try and somewhat put an edit together that is somewhat decent um, for YouTube. I was kind of just like mesmerized by like the way they worked the timeline and how they, you know, did all that sort of thing. I found it very interesting. It's a great film, and it got me. It made me cry. Um, I think a few times. Um, I thought it was really beautiful. Um, I wish we got more of the emails, but I know there's only so much you can kind of fit into like a two hour film. I wish we got more of the emails and stuff. Like, I think it would have been really cute to, you know, to hear more. But I'm glad that they did it in a way that I thought they would anyway, where they basically had, um, you know, they read, they read it out, like, in their voices. They did, like, the voiceover thing. Um, that's how I expected them to do it, and that's exactly what happened. Um, but, yeah, look how cute they are. Love it. Um... I love this book so much guys and I will say one of my favourite bits in the book quickly is um, is definitely the emails and the history huh that we could make some love it and they did just that great job um acting um obviously I'm gonna give my honest review I wish, right, there was characters obviously I wish were in it. So June for me, like plot point, June for me is a huge part of the story. And she's one of the big reasons why I do love the book so much. Um, also because you can fit a lot more in the book, obviously, like a film, you have to kind of, you know, be selective about what you put in there. But yeah, in the book, love June. Very sad that her like character was kind of cut out and basically mixed with Nora in a way. Like I feel like June should have been her own person. There were certain scenes I wish we got, like the talk about the magazine, um, you know, because Alex in the book found a picture of Henry in a magazine when he was younger and obviously looking back you can see that Alex has kind of um, admired Henry and probably fancied him for a long time 
um, and just not realised that. And then obviously when they met and it became like more of a rivalry kind of thing. But yeah, um, also we didn't see Henry's mum at all. In the book, she obviously has quite a big role at the end where she kind of fights um, the queen, not like physically, but she, you know, she stands her ground and she's like, they're my children, like I'll do anything for them, that kind of thing. Um, nothing mentioned about Bee's previous history with drugs, which was interesting. I thought that was a big point plot point of um the book um it's a bit i mean we got a lot of kisses but i still expected quite a few more to be honest but do you know what guys the thing i love about it is obviously in the book we do get quite a few intimate scenes like sexually intimate scenes um and I do like that the film wasn't fully focused on just that stuff um, because that's not what like the book is all about and that's not what the message is all about. It's not all about sex and you know that stuff like obviously it's great but you know it's it's about much more than that. It's about connection. It's about you know like emotional connection physical connection not just about you know the sexual attraction and stuff like that um i think it's very i think it's a very sweet story this actually is one of my favorite novels ever um i don't know if i i feel like the book just because we get more story to it i probably still kind of prefer maybe to the film but again that's because there's much more like to see in the book like there's much more to read about and it's much more in depth and you know when you read it you I get really into it so I'm basically like in the room with them sometimes like that's how it feels when I read any book I feel like I'm either the main character or that I'm there with them or I'm like another main character in the book um so i think i'd still say i prefer the book but also it's nice to have this to watch um i think like i said beautiful story um i think it's a beautiful film and i think taylor and nicholas have great chemistry um i really really do I'm looking forward to kind of editing this. It's going to be interesting. This is the first movie reaction I've done. So we'll see. But yeah, I don't think I've got much else to say about it. Um, but yeah, clearly you guys know and can tell, I suppose, that I love the books. The book. Um, and I also love the little, little one last stop cameo that Alex was reading. Um, at the lake house that's a book i still need to read i don't know when this is gonna go out um but if you haven't seen my heart stuff reactions um go check them out i enjoyed it i thought it was great nicholas beautiful taylor beautiful obsessed i love them both i really do i might re-watch kissing booth for a youtube video just for bands and i might watch cinderella actually that could be another film i react to next I just, ah, oh. how can Nicholas pull off, like, being a marine than a prince, you know? Like, oh, beautiful. <laughs> he literally is, like, amazing. Um, oh, I really, really wish they had the Jaffa Cake scene. We saw the Jaffa, Cakes bo Jaffa Cake box, though, with Henry. Um the Mr. Wobbles, that shit, that was so funny. I really wish we had more of the cornbread stuff as well. Like that was a huge funny moment in the book for me. So I really wish they kept that in. But again, it is what it is. Um, I still enjoyed it for what it is. I'm not gonna, you know, sit here and be overcritical. Um, 
because I went in there with an expectation of just, as I said, enjoying it for what it is. Um, and it's very, very rare that we ever get a queer film or rom-com anyway. So it was nice. It was a nice change of pace um, from the usual and also, you know, happy ending because a lot of queer media, there's a lot of tragic endings. That's one reason I love this universe and that's why I love Heartstopper so much because no matter what happens, you always know that there's a light at the end of the tunnel and that everything's going to be okay and that they're going to end up together. That's why I love about those two universes. So yeah, I really enjoyed it. Guys, I'm going to leave this video here for real now. Um, thank you all so much for tuning in with me. Um, and yeah, guys, I love you all. And I will see you guys in my next video. Um, be sure to check out all the links in the description down below. And yeah, bye guys.